gone are those days when we used to work with applications and if we want to share the code with somebody we used to zip the code and then share it across via email or we upload it into a free space sharing website like foreshared or something similar nowadays we are using github in order to share code with somebody else and most of us work with github because we are all stuck with our own proof of concepts and if we want to get these issues solved then we will have to make our project open source in order to get contributions from somebody else let's look at how we can leverage git pod in order to use our github code and edit it on the fly in the browser let's get started Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. Gitpod is an open source project which is completely based out of GitHub's code. Basically, you will be able to open up a browser with your IDE embedded inside the browser. And Gitpod is based out of VS Code. Underneath, it uses something called Thea, which is a cloud desktop IDE which is based out of VS Code. So the UI will look exactly like VS Code. However, you need to embed that inside the desktop browser. That is why this particular project was formed. And Gitpod is using this particular project to power your GitHub ecosystem. So if let's say we have a GitHub account. So what I'm trying here is I'll link my GitHub account into Gitpod and show you how we can open up our source code into the browser automatically inside Gitpod and we can start editing and commenting it. So let's take a repository from the GitHub project of Tech Primers. Let's take something which has some data. Let's look at this. So I'm going to open this particular project inside Gitpod. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can use gitpod.io slash hash and then we can retain the URL. So I'm going to say gitpod.io slash and then a hash. So this should open up this particular repository inside Gitpod. Since this is the first time I'm integrating Gitpod with my GitHub account, it's going to ask me to log into GitHub and provide the necessary access. So I'm going to allow Gitpod to read all the information from my GitHub account and it's going to be only read only. So I'm going to allow GitHub to do that. So it asks me to create an account. I'm just going to say agree and then click on create free account so this is going to create a dev environment for us basically a workspace if you're using eclipse you might know the concept of a workspace imagine the same so gitpod is creating a workspace for us inside the browser and the space is all maintained by gitpod so on the fly they are creating a container for us basically a pod where we can do our dev environment for the repository inside github so the ID is open now. So it is just suggesting me some shortcuts. I know some of the shortcuts in VS Code, so I can use that. So notice that this is exactly the same project which we checked out. And this is the readme file. And it has in fact the plugins already installed, right? The readme is getting converted into a markdown here. So let's try adding something and then committing this from the browser directly and notice that it also has the terminal here something similar to how we use it in IntelliJ VS Code also has a terminal so it's exactly the same same terminal I can do whatever I want inside this particular workspace notice that there is an option called workspace and inside the workspace we we have a repository right now we have this particular code checked out so let's try doing some git branch to see what is the branch right now see that there is a branch called master if let's say I want to check out a new branch I can just say git pod hyphen branch and let's git branch done so we have the git pod branch created let me go to the github project and notice that there is a github icon here inside the ID if I click on that I can push this particular changes into my branch so it, it's just allowing me to push it let's go to this particular branch 
inside github so right now in github we have only the master branch here let's push this particular branch in fact i can even click on this git push changes i'll do okay so see that there is a failure so please retry grant permissions in order to get the right access we need to authorize git pod because previously we allowed it to do read only option right so let me log in so the permissions are updated now in github so i have read write permission for my private repos that's what i am going to update see that it is now asking for private access as well let me authorize it and i think we are done so now we can do a git push and this should create a new branch inside our repo so if i refresh the github project i should see a new branch called git prod hyphen branch so this is the new branch which is called git pod hyphen branch so this way you can easily work on github projects and treat this particular environment as a dev environment and push the changes into the github directly from the browser itself so you don't have to install any heavyweight ide instead you can directly work on any github code base from this browser in addition to pushing changes into github we can navigate through the files using the usual features which we have inside an id so example i i was just navigating to the users.java i can in fact close this window see that this is exactly the same id which we used to work as a native idv inside our desktop and you can see even the folder structure here and you can directly navigate it like how you used to do with a desktop app the only thing is this is embedded this is pretty useful when you're on the move and you don't have an id you can just log into a machine and then just get the id started and you can just start editing it the major reason git pod was created was to provide flexibility over github like how github provides flexibility for you to edit you don't have a way for a id like feature inside github that is why git pod has been created and the underlying id which is powering the git pod is the thea which is a cloud based id which is based out of vs code all these are open source projects so if you want to take a look at the code of git pod or in fact even thea you can go to github and then go to github.com slash git pod hyphen io I hope you found this particular tool interesting. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.